I'm Liz Wood with Liz Wood Realty, and I am going to break down the Faberg Marini for you. So the Marini is this amazing juxtaposition of bustling and peaceful at the same time. The Marini was owned by, the Marini area was owned by a man named Bernard Marini de Mandeville. That's a mouthful. He was a plantation owner and decided that it was much more profitable to break his land into smaller plots and sell off these plots of land uh, to residents. He was not particular to who he sold it to. It was a very diverse neighborhood as it was coming up which made it a very interesting and seemingly adored place to live uh, back in, and this was in the 1800s. So with that being said, some of the, the lots were actually quite small, but many people decided to buy more than one lot and build larger uh, Greek revival houses. Um, that is not the case for all of them. There are a lot of smaller houses. You can ride through the Marini and see all kinds. It is a lovely area. I, can you tell that I like it? Um, so in the 1970s, it fell under uh, a historical preservation which is delightful because it is one of the best historically preserved 19th century neighborhoods in in our country, in the United States. Uh, it shows the houses there are unbelievable and they're old, they're very old. So some of the, uh, some of the today's noted things to do uh, are listen to music. It used to be very local. I mean, growing up, people didn't go to Frenchman Street unless they were local. It just, it stayed more in the French Quarter. Now, it has been discovered by everyone. I mean, this is what social media does. This is what media does. Um, and, you know, travel shows that hit some of these places. Some that I specifically have fondness for are um, Snug Harbor and DBA. I've seen many shows specifically at DBA, which uh, I still enjoy going down there. Don't ask them to order, don't ask them to make a complicated drink, order a beer, order something simple. That's it. Um, very, very easy, simple places. And then um, some of the places to eat, um, Adolfo's is actually um, Italian food and many people love Adolfo's. I like St. Rock Market because you can go there and there are many food vendors. You don't have to like the same thing. You can eat different things and uh, they do change them out sometimes. So you'll get a new vendor every now and again. And they used to have, there was my favorite pho place. They're not there anymore. So I have not gone quite as much, but I used to be a regular. Um, there's a fun karaoke place called Cajuns. And then uh, another restaurant that I really enjoy is Arabella Casa de Pasta. Very good. I went there right when they started out. They served the pasta in styrofoam bowls and it was been plastic forks. They have upgraded now. They're very good and I highly recommend them. So the Marini is a lovely area. So many people would love to live there. It's very small. It's a small, small area. And um, if you can't live there, you definitely want to visit. It's, you'll have so much fun. It's relaxing, it's easy. Uh, you'll get a very good mix of locals and tourists when you go down Frenchman Street. So that is my recap of the Marini. 
and I hope that you get to enjoy it. And if you haven't already, please do next time you are in New Orleans.